So I was at church this morning, and the pastor made an observation. He, he made a, like, a statement um, that as soon as he said it, I thought, oh my goodness, that this is not just um, a statement that a believer would identify with. It's a statement that a writer would identify with. And what he said was, in the center of this book, there is a lion. And it made me think immediately. I mean, that's true. I mean, if you happen to be a believer, but like when I read my own work, do I come across passages that make me say, in the center of this book, there's a lion. Like there is a character, a central character that is displaying the kind of power that draws everyone's attention. And I don't know if you've been to the zoo or not, but I happen to have been to the zoo just recently. And there's something unbelievable about the way the lions, even when they're not doing anything, they command our attention. I promise, I watched a lion just like flip over on a rock and I was like, whoa. And we need that like whoo factor in our writing. But there's something else you need to know about this central character that happens to be in the Bible, who is the lion. He's not just the lion. He has another image that he goes by just as fiercely. And that's the image of a lamb. So he's both. There's a dichotomy. That yes, he is powerful and commanding. And yet he's innocent. And it made me think about my characters. Like in just recently I've been dealing with this wooden character, this wooden bad guy. And I've been trying to go, like, what, what's wrong with him? What makes him so, like, wooden and so much of a caricature? And I was talking with a friend, and, and she said, you know, usually you try and put shades of gray, and I think that's what's missing, that this character has no shade of gray. He's just black or white. And I was thinking about this lion and this lamb image and the central character in the Bible today. I was thinking about, about my characters. Like, do they have moments of power? I hope so. And do they have moments of, of innocence? Even the bad ones. Even the evil characters. Are they struggling with something? Or are they just there? And so I want to encourage you to go back and to look at your characters. And, and maybe it's not powerful and innocence. Maybe that's not the dichotomy you need in your characters. But it needs to have a feel of, of being opposites. How they can be one and the other at the same time. How they can coexist. That's your backstory. Where, how did they come to be powerful? And what makes them innocent, even if they're awful? I know it's a question I'm going to be thinking about today as I revise. And and hopefully, um, as you look at projects to revise, it might be a good question for you to ask too. 